Hi everyone, it's me Connor again from London Space, and I'm back again with another video. Today I'm going to be talking to you about something that's a wee bit different. It's this right here. It's called the Let's Go Code Activity Set. Now, coding is obviously one of those skills that's becoming a lot more prominent in recent times. Uh, a lot of people are under the fair assumption that uh, a lot of jobs in the future can be dependent on children's ability to code. Um, so we're going to be talking about it today. This set says it's suitable for anyone over the age of five, but I think any child who's in primary school would benefit from using it. Um, what makes it unique is that even though it is all about coding, it actually has nothing to do with computers. That sounds counterintuitive, but I'll show you what I mean in a wee minute and hopefully you'll be able to see the benefits of it. So as you can see, I've set a few tiles out for you to have a look at. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how, this, how the set works. So I'm going to put the start tile on the first tile. I'm going to put uh, the robot, which is the goal, on the last tile. Now, this is, what I've basically done here is made a very, very simplistic uh, and uncomplicated maze, okay? So the goal of the game is to get from the start arrow to the robot, okay? And you have to try and do that through programming or through coding in a very basic way. So I'm just going to show you this. So you start at the start arrow. Now to get to the robot, I have to move forward one. I have to move forward again. And then I have to rotate or turn to the left. And then I have to move forward again, and that's me at the robot. And what I'm going to do now is bring out our coding cards. So like I said, first thing I did, move forward, move forward again. At that point, I rotated left or turned left. And then I moved forward again, and that was it. Now you can make it a lot more complicated than that. That was a really simple one. I've only put out four of these tiles here, or four of these mats. There's 20 of them in the set, so you can make it much larger. And you've got a variety of these action cards here to make it a lot more challenging or stimulating and interesting. And you've got a whole range of different coding cards to help conquer every obstacle that you come to. I think it's a fantastically set, particularly if you're teaching in school. I know that one of the difficulties if you're if you're teaching coding in class is that um, you have to go through this whole process of booking computer suites or booking iPads. Then you've only got a limited amount of time with that equipment before it goes away again and there maybe isn't enough for everyone to, to use it all by themselves. So it's a bit stressful and then it's hard to do on a regular basis. But with this, you don't have that problem. It's a brilliant set uh, for getting across the key concepts and the key skills involved in coding. It's fantastic, fantastic for kinesthetic learners. They get to learn by doing, which is how they learn best. And like I said, once you have it, you don't ever need to pre-book it. It's there for you. It's also an amazing opportunity for collaborative learning. Um, kids can work in teams to build and to solve the mazes. You could even have one kid would be going through the maze or walking through the maze and the, another kid could be shouting out the code to them or the instructions to them and um, so you could do it that way so it's it's got a lot of potential to it it's 34.99 but you get a lot of bang for your buck and um, it's something that the kids will love doing and they'll learn a lot while they're doing it and if you're a teacher you can easily split that cost with another teacher in another class and you can take a turn about to use it it's a great wee product and it's available in store or online at learning space that's all I've got for today, guys. Um, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe below. And I'll see you next time.